Are you coming wild camping? Bought guns for yes. So what are we looking at, Levi? Okay, Chris, if you look to your right, mate, the five nipples in the background, that's the mountains of Benavard and Ben Anne, some of the highest mountains in Scotland. You can just see the peaks, one on the left, heading across, and there's four in between, and the far, far one on the right. If you come across to the left, you can see the backs of Derry Cairngorm, and just out of sight is Ben McDewey and the rest of the uh, central Cairngorm. And that is the Larry Grew that heads up behind there. And if you keep on walking, 24, 25 miles, you'll be in Aviemore for a pint this afternoon. Maybe okay. not in the snow, but we'll come back in the, uh, in the summer, buddy. We probably won't reach that ground today, but yeah, it's absolutely spectacular. Now Lee was up here with his other half last week and there was snow down to ground level. They were ski touring for the day, but it's still nice to have it on the higher peaks. And you never know, once we pitch the tent, we might hike up. And certainly that's the plan. And get up into that snow line. We've got our French tour guide to my right. Pierre, what have you got to say? Building up a little bit of a sweat. Feeling good? Just getting there. Uh, getting pumped. Sweet to you in a bit. Ah, oh, it's a nice view that. So the first destination has been reached. Calata stables, obviously body. Uh, it's nice, there's no one in here, but it's a little bit early, so that probably will change. Um, it's Saturday, so prime hiking territory. But it's nice, it's, uh, it's got the real mountain vibe. There's some prayer flags, some nice bunks in the other room, a few bits and pieces being left. Uh, it's always good to, on our way tomorrow, keep it tidy and leave something for other people as well to return the favour. So. I'll go and show you the views outside, uh, it's spectacular, a real lovely location on this one. Loch Calata, it's actually frozen. So what we're going to do is get pitched somewhere around here and we're going to ditch the heavy packs and have a blast up to those summits and the ridge line. But what a lovely spot, absolutely idyllic So we're all pitched up, we've got the uh, sleeping bags, sleep mats, internal tents set up, all in place. I'm now heading off on a bit of a hike. Levi, what's, what's the plan, what are we going up? Going up Carn Saget Moor, Chris, 1100 metres. This beast at the back here, one of the biggest in the eastern Cairngorm. We've got a down plane on the top that came over from an air force base up near Elgin back in the 50s. And crashed into the top so that should be nice to well you know obviously not nice but it's uh poignant to go and visit to go and visit yeah and um there's going to be some good lasagna type crispy snow on the top it's a bit, bit of axe wear bit of dagger in and uh she's a beauty yeah and if we've got time we might head over and uh bag one more but if not we'll come back and have a little bit of whiskey at this lovely lovely spot mate
better. Out in here. Hey, hey, it's the second one. You see him standing. Just come out onto this rock. He was nicely camouflaged in his winter coat where he was can't really see his tracks there's been another mountain here there's some of the wreckage sadly from an RAF Canberra which was stricken collided with this peak looks like a part of the landing gear very sad. Just highlights the dangers of the mountains, especially in poor weather, winter, and with bad visibility. It's pretty cold in that wind. Minus eight, boys, in the wind, minus eight. So we're just gonna go and top out on the summit, which is a little bit just to our west, and then get a few photos, bit of footage, then we're heading back down, keeping the spikes on because the terrain is now frozen, and everything below us, which wasn't, probably is going to, if it hasn't already. Fantastic mountain day here really good memories made we've still got a bit of winter sun just hanging low in the sky yeah Unfor unforgettable experience this trip's going to be so we topped out summit of Khan Saget Moor what's the height Lee? just under 1100 mate just shy of 1100 meters and this is our 360 panorama bit of cloud heading in and the weather is going to deteriorate throughout the evening the banshee is going to have a good test isn't it Walsh well, and the blade yeah. Bode and the Van Gogh Cairn go apt for this uh, location so it's been a fantastic mountain day I think we've all made some brilliant memories on this and we've got a lot more to come we get off the hill safely and just take it all in. Brilliant. So we're about three quarters of the descent back down to the lower path. We'll skirt our way round and we'll back be and then we'll be back at the campsite. We can't wait to get back, de-kit, well get warm, a few beers, get in the bothy, warm up. But how good is this? Look the setting sun just framing this just magnificent area. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Top memories. It's been a cracking day, hasn't it? Definitely worth the, uh, it's still not over. <laughs> yeah. We're not done yet. We'll crack on. Yeah. 
Well, the sun's set and we're nearly back at our camp spot. If you look down there, the tents are just at that far end of the lock. They're still there, which is a good thing. And obviously we've got a bit of shelter in this valley as well. So yeah, it's been a great walk. I've really enjoyed myself today. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Not taking yourself too seriously, just enjoying yourself in the outdoors. That's all it is at the end of the day. It's just a hobby which we enjoy. And um, yeah, I think we always need to bear that in mind. I'll speak to you when we're back down at the, the camp spot and we'll get a beer on. And if we're lucky, we might get the, the body all to ourselves. So we're in the body, we're just waiting for Lee. Now we're gonna have a beer and uh, toast, because I say the fells, the Munros. Um, is it a Munro, what we did Small today? Oh, right, okay. okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, really atmospheric in here now. I feel I must point out. Well, she tell us what you've done with your potatoes. So I've just obviously um, parboiled them, but I missed look, it. Look at this. When I was when I was let, when they were cooling, I should have swilled them in a bit of uh, salted butter. He's parboiled potatoes at home yeah. and hiked his potatoes in, into <coughs> into the camp location. That's typical Welsh meist. And this is what we miss. Then I'm gonna add them into the report of farm. Which is beautiful listening. We've stopped selling them. Yeah, yeah. Them. so we're gonna, we're gonna have a good laugh, a few beers, and uh, yeah, enjoy our evening. On the beer, we're on the heathen hazy IPA. So this looks really nice, um, shout out the Fell store, they're quite hard to get hold of these at the moment, they're usually out of stock and that's for a very good reason because they're really nice, um, but a cracking local company, support your local businesses where you can, really important especially at the moment, they've got a really great range of meals, check them out, I'll leave links below this video, but yeah, real term at lovely meals bit of a treat every now and again and check out the fell store fast shipping great communication and you've got a wide range of meals drinks everything you need for your for your wild camping adventures well good morning really nice sleep nice and cozy in the abisco light one i'm just gonna get some water boiled up get a nice warming drink but yeah there's some ferocious wind up on the tops I can hear it rattling about but we're nice and protected here in this valley so I'm just gonna get some water boiled up get a nice hot drink
Well, it's time to get packed away. The winds on the top saw so forecast 105 kilometers an hour. Um, that's this evening and the wind's gonna pick up throughout the day. So it makes sense to get the tents deconstructed, strike camp, um, just while we've got this bit of a weather window. Been a fantastic camp. I'll speak to you again before we go and bring some footage of the, the surroundings as the sun rises. Well, yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Horse fight? Yep. Good camp, good adventure? Great, yeah. What do you think of that one? Lovely camp. How was your night in the Banshee? Yeah, no worries. I've only got like a, um, I've got the greatest sleeping bag or sleeping mat, so felt the cold, cold a little bit. I had to put the uh, puffer on, but yeah, great night's sleep. Temp performed well though, didn't it? Eight, nine. Some strong winds. Yeah. Eight, nine yeah. hours. Good stuff. Sleep. I'll yeah, leave you stuff packing up. Banshee. Good Lovely to see the goat on a video good again. Good the viewers will be pleased to see you. He's still alive. <laughs> right, dude. Levi. How are we? Any words for the viewers, mate? It's good to have you up, lads. Um, yeah, great night. A lot less snow than last. We were ski touring here this time last Saturday. Yeah. But still amazing on the tops. Lots of good cover. Good friends. Very hospitable. Nice uh, we met some nice locals who've been stoked on us wild camp and I think it's nice to think about Jock back in the 1800s fighting for people's rights to have access to the outdoors and this is exactly where it all started so maybe people might learn something off this one Chris to see the man who fought for our um, stand up for your rights to access our ability to go out in the outdoors so uh, good on Jock I say and cool everyone get out there and enjoy it best you can because uh, at one point you weren't able to so thanks for coming up chris and whilst no and everybody else it's been um been lovely to host you this weekend excellent i'll leave you to it mate Cheers, man. so that's the end of another little adventure in the great outdoors first camp back up in scotland since the canoe trip just over a year ago now had an absolutely fantastic time and i hope you've enjoyed the video go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself Get your little ones out there, teach them to enjoy outdoors, nature and respect it and look after it. Check out the back catalogue and I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.